Mr. Edwards and the Spider, which is written by Robert Lowell. So, before getting into the poem, we have to know certain thing in order to get the clear vision of the poem. So, we'll start with the questions. Just ask these questions to yourself. How does a spider die? What leads to the death of a spider? Any guesses? Yes, a spider will die only because of the web which is pinned by the spider. Likewise, a human being's sin will lead to his destruction and also it will be the result of his death. Whereas his soul will be eternity. It is immortal. It is the main concept that we are going to see in this poem. And when you talk about Puritans, who are Puritans? The writer Robert Lowell, he is also a Puritan. He is from the Puritan background where he talks about Mr. Edward. He is also a Puritan theologian. So Christian community has been divided into two categories, Catholics and Protestant. Among the Protestants was the one such group which is named as Puritan. We can also name them as Pure. Because they will never watch TV. They never have any uh, fairly ambitions in their life. Their only motive is to be true to the God and to obey the rules. They give more importance to the moral values and ethics than anything else. When you want to get the clear vision, you can go for the example, the Scarlet Letter which is written by Nathal Hathro. Where Heston Prime, she is uh, treated as a victim. Uh, but also, when it is in the vision of the Puritan, they treat her only as a person who is very cruel in life. Who has did the worst thing which could not be done. She, uh, she is tend to wear the scarlet letter by her daughter. Where her daughter wanted her mother to wear the scarlet letter A, which is meant for her adultery. Towards her living and also towards her end of the death, Still in the tomb of the death, she wears the letter Y. So this is what the mindset of the Puritan. That is, they never uh, say anything as a immoral unless and until it disturbs their values and ethic. And the main core is that Puritan, they treat the sin as equal to insects. So we may have a guess why come the topic is Mr. Edwards and the spider. Next, we will see the writer who is none other than Robert Lowell. Full name Robert Trial Spence Lowell IV. He was born in the year 1917 and he was passed away in the year 1977. He is an American poet and he concentrates on his family, his past and present, which seems to be the core subject in his poetry. And when you talk about his genres, he is known for writing American poet. He is American poet. He is known for writing American poetry. And his biographer, Mr. Paul Matriani calls him the poet historian of our time and the last of the influential poets. When you talk about his family origin, it is Mayflan and his aim is to research the life of Jonathan Edwards and he wanted to write biography on him. That is, he wanted to experience the whole life essence of his one of the ancestors, Edwards. And he couldn't complete it. But however, he came up with it, those points that he had researched when he was about the idea of writing the biography of Edward. He takes all those points and he adds up in his poetry. And one such poetry is Mr. Edwards and the Spider. And coming to Jonathan Edwards, he is a pure Puritan. Calvinist theologian, that is a uh, Calvinist is the term that relates to the Protestant theological system of John Calvin and his successes. And he is a philosopher of British American Puritanism, was one of the forerunner of the age of the Protestant missionary expansion during the 19th century. In this poem, Jonathan Edwards is portrayed as a character who explains the rejection of Puritanism. With the following word, what are we in the hands of great God? So it's a poetic line. We'll see up, uh, about it when we come to the poem. And characters seen in this poem are Robert Lowell. He's a 20th century writer. He's a narrator of the poem. Jonathan Edward is the ancestor of Lowell's mother. Benjamin Coleman is a fellow minister in Boston. And final character, Josiah Howley, is the uncle of Jonathan Edwards. So these are the referred character in this poem written by uh, Lowell. 
and when you talk about this particular poem these four characters comes up with the theme which gives the main core in essence for the poem when you talk about the background of the poem literary career of lovell had paved the way for him to research the life of the eminent 18th century american preacher jonathan edward and he was in the idea of writing a biography about him but he couldn't complete it so he comes up with the two best known poems which is derived from this purpose in order to make it edward mr edward known to the wider world so one such poem is we are going to see mr edward and the spider in another is after the surprising conversions and edward's famous work the sermon the great awakening in 1741 it is basically a speech it takes up the main key begin the writing of the poem mr edward and the spider in this poem the great awakening talks about many things and that is adopted in the voice of edward in adaptation that is uh, the writer of the poem comes up with the voice of edward which talks about the speech which is given in the year 1741 and which is titled the great awakening and also the poem talks about the dramatic presentation what the calvinist protagonist will often think about the original sin what is original sin according to calvinist theologian mr edward not only it is mr edward but also the protestantism and when you talk about the settings of the poem it is vivid passage from perhaps jonathan edwards most popular sermon sinners in the hands of hungry god and of insects is a letter by jonathan edwards to judge paul deadly in 1723 and spider letter is basically a document which is written by edwards in the year 1723 so these from the our poem the poem which are gonna see has been derived from these of the works and first stands up mr edwards wrote a remarkable letter to his father's correspondent when he was about between 10 to 11 this particular letter talks about the spider that is he observes a spider which is spinning its web which seems to be his daily routine and one at the end of the time it was no like there is no life in the spider it has lost its life so the letter is written from the life of the spider spinning a web to the death of the spider and edward life often travels towards the sea and thus he expresses spider the life the sin and death this poem also discourses a gifted naturalist in making We'll see this stanza. I hope will be clearly understood. Poem moves in the first person, who begins with the speaker using visual imagery of the spider on one atom day. I saw the spider marching through the air, swimming from tree to tree that mildewed day. In latter August, when the hay came creaking to the barn, but wait, the wind is westerly. Wait, gnarled number makes the spider fly into the apparitions of the sky. They purpose nothing but their ease and die, urgently beating east to sunrise and the sea. So I have told you already. It is a letter which is written by Edward to an English correspondent of his father. In this, he recorded his observation of the habit of a flying spider, which moves from one place to the another. where he says i saw the spider marching through the air so he is seeing a spider which is moving in the air swimming from tree to tree that mild dewed day so that mild eve is a word which tells us that it is not a good sign the spider it is moving from one tree to tree where the web of the spider is not easily visible thus he says swimming so the vision seems to be swimming but actually the spider is moving from one side of the web to the other which is connected between the trees in later august when the hay so in the later half of the august when the hay came creaking to the barn so hay is something grass that has been mown in dried for uh, usage of the fodder so barn is the place where the hay is will be stored so in the month of august the hay came to the barn but where the wind is westerly the wind is in a westerly manner where now the number makes the spider fly 
So now by month here he says in before the seasons he talk, he spoke about the month of August. At present he speaks about the month of November, which is the atom day. So the atom day it makes the spider fly. The rough November. So Gnald is being rough. So he says November month is very rough, and this makes the spider fly into the apparitions of the sky. So apparition is something ghostly appearance. When you see something which is evil, like, will automatically get the fear. So into the apparition, when the atom day, that is in our month, makes the spider fly, automatically the vision seems to be very gothic. It seems to be very ghostly manner. They purpose nothing but they ease and die. So what is the main purpose here? They refers to the spider. The spiders they purposely did nothing but they will be getting ease easy in the sense easy ease means easy here it talks about the living of life so the only result which gets for nothing purpose is either to die or to live urgently beating east to sunrise and the sea so urgently it was a mocking sound which is east to the sunrise the sea sunrise these kinds of sceneries talks about the upcoming events that is the writer he has uh, is influential in the tree, uh, sea voyage so he talks about sunrise and the sea and the poem also comes up with the colonial view so in the first stanza he says that spider is the only reason for its own death where spider is an scientific spirit which talks about letter that he written so the main core began writing the letter about the spider is that spider is the only creature which is compared to sin. Puritans it compares sinners to the insect. Here this uh, insect is the spider. We'll go for the second stanza. What are we in the hands of great God? It was in vain you set up throne and prayer in battle array against the fire and treason crackling into your blood. From the wild thorns grow tame. Anne will do nothing to oppose the flame. Your lacerations tell the losing game. You play against a sickness past your cure. How will the hands be strong? How will the heart endure? So the second stanza clearly portrays the information which is given in the religious rival, the Great Awakening in 1741. It says sinners in the hands of the angry God should be compared to a loathsome spider. So what is the result of the spider? It dies because of its own web. Likewise, a person will be dead because of his own sin. He starts a rhetorical question. What are we in the hands of God? When God has to be put up as, when God uh, has an idea of putting, up, uh, putting us in the heaven or hell, what would be his option? So what are we? When we compare ourselves with one another, we often compare human beings with one another. But the great God, he justifies God as a great person. The great God, how come he punishes? What will be the morals and immorals according to the God? And what will be his punishment if one is supposed to make an immoral activity? It was in vain you set up throne and prayer. So prayer is uh, like a sprigging shrubs. It was in vain. You set up throne and prayer. Uh, so when, uh, whenever you make an activity either with throne or prayer, it will not be ensured to the throne. Throne, it will be very pricky and it will hurt someone. It will not hurt itself or it will not uh, making any sense in order to blame someone. When you scratch yourself in a throne or when you scratch someone in a throne, automatically never no one will blame. It is the reason the throne is very sharp. It is because of the one who stimulates the throne to do. But in the battle array against the fire, when there is a battle between the throne and the fire, what will be the winner? Which will withstand its life? It is fire. So it is not the throne. Even the throne can be burnt within a fraction of second by the fire. So fire has such a kind of quality. And treason crackling in your blood. So treason is uh, literally betraying. And crackling is a uh, fatty skin. When someone is betraying, it should be from their blood. It is not because someone says you, you, are, uh, you, are, you must do it. You must 
do it actually when someone possesses the bad things in you also it is only the you are the one and only reason begin making an immoral activity we should never judge that he is the one uh, he who told me to do it she is the one who told me to do it it is only because of your own blood your blood holds the trees in quality your blood talks about not only yourself but also your whole family your whole heredity so when you commit a sin or a mistake it not only damages your image it damages your family name at the same time it will follow throughout your generation for the wild thorns grow tame so before he compares for that example he compares the thorn so thorn how come a thorn it never burn not only burnt itself instead the fire which uh, when there is a battle between a fire and thorn automatically thorn spreads the fire though the fire is intended to destroy the thorn it automatically spread this fire to the whole and the whole content will become tame tame is something uh, very pet so it observes this fire fire and it sends it and will do nothing to oppose the flame the thorn cannot do anything to oppose the flame instead it takes in the flame and burn its own community your laceration tell the losing game laceration is deep cut or tear in the flesh or skin so when you cut a uh, skin or when there is a any damage in your skin automatically it will not give you the physical pain it will be physically pain but due to the mental pain when someone cannot tolerate the mental pain they commit suicide here the main core is given here laceration so laceration though it is the tearing of the skin or flesh it talks about the pain and the wariness which is intended mind wordsly and when you are in the idea of committing suicide automatically it is that you are the loser of the game so here gain is uh, referred as a life life is treated as a game and when you try to end of your life you are the loser of your game and you play against a sickness past your cure here you refers to mr edward jonathan edward where you play against a sickness so you are playing against a sickness you are you have been tried to play against a sickness past your cure so you have passed your cure but though what is the result you are in the idea of making a suicide how will the hands be strong and how will the heart endure so you have many things many people appreciated you you have many things but also what was your final decision is nothing but committing suicide so how will the hands be strong here the hands refers to the hands of the god from the starting uh, he said that i mean in the second stanza first line he told us that our good activities and bad activities are in the hands of great god he is the judge and we are his victim when if you commit a suicide it is equal to the greatest sin in puritanism so he questions mr edward how will the hands be strong how god will give you a strong judgment how will the heart endure so how come the heart will suffer it is basically a line which is taken from ezekiel 22 verses 14 will your courage endure or your hands be strong in day i deal with you i the lord have spoken and i'll do it so you have the courage and your hands are strong how come it can handle your life after the, you don't want to lead a happy life so you have uh, started uh, in the idea of living in the depression mode which resulted in your suicide how come you think that suicide seems to be the relaxation it gives it gives you relief from the mental stress automatically you will be taken to the hell there you have to suffer a lot then on the earth third stanza a very little thing a little worm or hair glass blast in spider it is said can kill a tiger will the dead hold up his mirror and affirm to the four winds the smell and the flash of his authority it's well if god who holds you to the pit of the hell much as one holds a spider will destroy baffle and dissipate your soul as a small boy in this third stanza he talks about the future punishment when one commits suicide it is not the end of the life where they will be taken to the hell and there they will be presided with the punishments and he compares death with the thief 
how come a thief enter a home he enters a home unexpectedly likewise the death it enters it should enter someone unexpectedly we should not go in search of the death unless and until if we go in search of the death we will not be sent to the hell a very little thing a little worm so it is just a very little thing it's just a little worm he saying he mentions a he not even specifically given the word the he just says it is a one of the little thing it is a little worm r hair glass blazant spider so hair glass is literally like a sandal uh, sorry sand clock blazant spider is the official family name so it is said that someone has a official family name which has a greatly respect that is particularly not the life of the whole person even though a spider it is very small and it is just a worm it can it has a capability to kill a tiger will the death hold up his mirror and affront to the four winds the smell so here mirror is literally the web which is spent by the spider sorry spider so hold up his mirror the spider it holds his mirror that is his web and it is standing firm it is in the declaration that it is its own web it never wanted to leave the web and the wind it smells from the four side that is it flashes from the four side and the wind shows its authority that the wind is very powerful because wind is considered as the one of the five valuable elements so when it shows its authority whereas a spider on the other hand shows its own authority claiming that the web is spinned by the spider it's well so everything will be well both the wind is good in its activity and also the spider it is good in in, in its activity if god who holds you to the pit of hell so from a vision one sees that it is moral and other sees that it is immoral that is wind and spider both fights against each and everything when there is a two such option one has to be the fake and one has to be the real but when you see in the vision of the wind the wind activity is good when you see the vision of the spider its authority is good so when you wanted to see the clear judgment you have to see the vision of the god if god who holds you to the pit of hell if god is the one who takes you to the pit uh, pit is this uh, ditch when god takes you to the pit of the hell much as one holds a spider so uh, he compares god with the spider i'm sorry he compares god with the uh, scientific spirit and pit of the hell refers to the web spider is referred to the mr edward here have come the web which takes the spider towards his destiny that is destiny likewise god will take you towards a pit if you are not performing a moral way of life will destroy likewise have come a spider is the reason behind its own web likewise you will be the reason behind your own death your sin will be the reason baffle and dissipate your soul a small boy as a small boy so here the poet invents an incident in which edward he is a small boy he sees a spider being cast into the fire and offering little resistance to it so baffle is puzzling and dissipate is disappearing so when you are not mentally strong automatically your life will be puzzled like a web of the spider and at the certain point only your soul it changes it never changes but it disappears how come the spider's web is disappear for the vision of the edward likewise your life will be the standard one your soul will be the standard one but it will not be appearance to the other so as a small boy he has experienced a spider it has mistakenly fallen on the fire and it lost its life so likewise how come the vision of the web is not visible and it is very puzzling likewise your soul will be very puzzling and also it will not be appear to someone we'll go for the fourth stanza on winter march i saw the spider die when thrown into the bowels of the freezy fire there is no long struggle no desire to get up on its feet and fly it stretches out its feet and dies this is the sinner's last retreat gas and no stent exerted on the heat then sinews the abolished will when sick and 
full of burning it will whistle on a brick here we get the clear identity it is none other than the speaker who identifies jonathan edward his uncle and he considers that according to him that is according to puritans suicide is considered as the worst sin and one who performs sin are treated equal to insects they will be taken to the hell and uh, they will be torture of the eternity in the hell here edward's reality of death is come uh, has been portrayed where a black women so black women here is personified as the cruel and evil spirits the black women a venomous spider so black women is treated as the venomous spider we'll see in the upcoming lines so that venomous spider is a symbol which has resulted to the cruel death so winster is the uh, place which is located at the busiest border crossing in north america and on winster's march on that march which is taken which has taken place in the winster he sees a spider which is uh, about to die when thrown into the bowels of the freezy fire so the spider is thrown into the bowels of the freezy fire winster is uh, also a place but also a river bank with the wind glass in olden english and when you talk about name it is the surname of the royal family of the united kingdom since 1970 so he compares with the royal family here where the spider has been swallowed by the fire which is very freeze there is no long struggle no desire so the spider is burning over the flame it has no time to struggle or no time to escape or no time to express what its desire was to do to get up on its feet and fly the spider cannot get up on its feet and fly because when it fly, uh, when it's uh, falling on the ground i mean on the fire automatically it is the leg which gets uh, burned often and it cannot stand on its own feet sorry feet and also when you go for the option of flying it can't work it it will not be working out it stretches out its feet so there the spider realizes that it cannot escape from the long struggle so it started stretching its feet that is loss of hope and dies finally the spider is died this is the sinner's last retreat so this is the sinner's last way of resulting so when someone commits a sin automatically you should be ready to face your destiny how the spider it stretched it feet in order to accept its cruelty when someone commits sin automatically the cruel fire it will swallow them how come it had swallowed the sinner that is the spider it ha- it will swallow the man also the spider is not uh, basically a sinner according to puritans uh, sinners were treated as insect hence here the insect portrayed as the spider yes and no stent exerted on the heat so when you talk about yes the spider was trying to come up when you talk about no the heat has no has more resistance than the spider so the spider cannot come out then sinews the abolished will when sick and full of burning so by will there were also many works that were abolished that is sinews sinews is the small tissue of a skin when then the small tissue of a skin has to be abolished when someone is sick automatically they'll burn off the skin and it will be taken away from the over the flesh it will whistle on a brick automatically it will result the spider uh, if something is uh, very in a deadly manner in olden days they'll cut off the flesh likewise if something is very cruel and sinny it has to be cut off here the spider the whole spider from the top to toe it was in a very cynic manner that is uh, when you talk about uh, exactly it uh, represents a man man's powerful against his inevitable do so he cannot escape from anything that has to be given him by the god so automatically from the head to the toe the spider was full of sin hence it was burnt in the brick in the fourth stanza he uses spider to express the mindlessness slothfulness and immortality which leads to the basic core resultant that is destruction so spider when you talk about towards destruction 
the spider is portrayed as the main core which reflects human nature the slothfulness immortality and mindlessness that results to the suicide which is the greatest sin of all towards the final stanza but hope can plumb the sinking of that soul joshua howley picture yourself cast into a brick kiln where the blast fans your quick vitals to a coal if measured by a glass how long would it seem burning let there pass a minute 10 10 trillion but the blaze is infinite eternal this is death to die and know it this is the black widow death in the final stanza from the second stanza to four he has spoken about mr edward in the fifth stanza he talks about joshua howley so joshua howley i have told you already he is the uncle of jonathan edwards so he is a great uh, awakening who committed suicide by cutting his own throat here also he adds up uh, the poem after the surprising conversions the points which were listed in that poem has been also mentioned here it is basically taken from the use of letters that edward had written to benjamin colman a fellow minister in boston the fourth stanza clearly depicts the deep melancholy of the writer i mean of the poet and also the other people but who can plump plump is measuring who can plump the sinking of that soul so the spider is dead now the soul of the spider is sinking who can measure that joshua howley picture yourself cast cast is throwing so joshua howley he is a he is a very good figure who is both a talented by the same way has a goal of his life but he has committed suicide picture yourself cast so you have to throw yourself away into a brick kiln where the blast brick kiln is where the brick are being made so you have been thrown yourself into a brick kiln and you are no more fans you quick vitals to a coal so as the days passes as hours passes you have turned to a coal of the soil if measured by a glass if something has to be measured by a glass how long would it seem burning how long do you think so here glass literally refers to the glass clock when it is talking about the burning how long would it take let there pass a minute it can take a minute to burn 10 10 trillion so it can take either a minute or 10 or 10 trillion but the blaze is infinite times may go but the blaze this is burning the burning it will make something uh, literally into a bad state the soul is infinite the body may burn but the soul it is infinite and it is eternal it has no death it is immortal that is death and it defines what is death death is something where your soul is infinite and eternal and it cannot be destroyed only thing that can be destroyed is your body to die and know it so to die when you want to die and you want to know it this is the black widow death so this is the black widow death black widow is a personified character it is not actually a character where the black widow women is compared to the suffering of the death so widow when uh, someone is widow they lit- in olden days they literally mean that they have to they had uh, lost everything in their life so the like a black widow death will be very terrible like a black widow death will be very crucial and black widow is directly personified to suicide and personification also and death is inevitable how come a black widow a black widow leads a life even though if it is a black women automatically they will be in a suppressed state and to add more flavor if she is a widow what would happen her life will be inevitable she cannot end her life at the same time she cannot enjoy the pleasure of the life so that is the same when you go in search of the death so that's the whole poem we'll see about the literary forms and the devices the poem holds about five stanza which takes nine lines each it is iambic meter 2 to 6 poetic feet long iambic meter is a type of metric line which is used in the traditional english poetry and in the verse of drama when you go for rhyme scheme it follows a rhyme scheme a b b a c c c d d and it emphasizes 
this particular rhyme scheme and also the reality of the person who had committed suicide emphasizes it gives you more in preference more important to the co poem that suicide it's considered as the sin the greatest sin and the sinner is treated like an insect how a spider lost its life in a crucial manner likewise a person also be sent off to the hell so in the hell in the hell also he cannot enjoy the pleasure he had to worry he had to suffer a lot then on the earth in the poem follows the enchantment enchantment is a literary device uh the continuation of a sentence without a pause beyond the end of a line couplet or stanza so you may see that uh, the line it continues without uh, without any pause or any end or any line but you have to assume it talks about the characters who had committed suicide and who are in relation with the writer so the writer the main quality of the writer is he never introduces a character who is not known to him or is not in a friendly relationship with his family circle so here enchantment takes place and when you go for personification black women that is the black widow plays a major character where he concluded all the sufferings of a person a sin a person who makes sin to a single character term black widow and metaphor he compares sinners as insects and individual members to a large spider and black widow as death and when you go for symbolism a venom the spider to the reality of death a venom the spider talks about the reality of death many people who commit suicide often think that they cannot uh, they cannot bear the life on the earth so they wanted to have commit suicide but the suicide life will be very crucial than the life they had lived before and when you talk about imagery the poet comes up with the spider the life of a spider to our vision to express his own ancestors and about suicide and half line breakage of the sentence stresses that the poet literally worries about the imperfection in the death of his ancestors so these are the literary forms and devices that has employed in this poem and when you go for the theme the poem clearly portrays a theme of a dark side of the human nature and modern culture what is the dark side of the human nature human often tend to go beyond the modern culture and he forgot to get with the essence of the life he goes beyond everything and at the final stage when everything is out of hand he wanted to seek uh, he wanted to seek suicide so he is he is the one who has taken him to the dark side of the human nature and he states that god has given that life to him so it is only because of your own sin that you have been punished and uh, it study uh, the study of the american colonial mind so the poem also talks about the mind of a american who has colonized and when you talk about the sin no apology for puritanism the puritans they never apology for one's crime uh, when you go for the best example uh, you may go for the scarlet letter a romance by nadel hathorne where hester prine she committed a mistake when she volunteers herself to apologies also the people around her wanted to carry the letter a from her living to her tomb not only the people even her own daughter feels it very proud because her mother is wearing the letter a so even though it is for punishment from the child to the uh, old man it is clearly depicted that puritans there is no apology they have to face the upcomings for their sin and puritan uh, style of meditation has been portrayed by the writer lovel and uh, the spider seems to be the central theme and the spider gives the theme of imagery and symbolism so that's the point i have given you that i have gathered so thanks a lot for watching